ZSL, in partnership with Marine Conservation Research International, are heading out today to do a seven-day acoustic and visual survey for harbour porpoises in the Greater Thames. So this is the second survey that we've done in the Thames. In 2015, we found a really high encounter rate of porpoises in this area, which indicate that the Thames might be an incredibly important place for harbour porpoises, with a similar importance to other areas in UK and Europe that are actually protected for porpoise. They're small cetaceans, which um, are like dolphins, but they have flat noses and they're about just less than two metres long. They travel in small pods, so just one or two of them, and they're very sort of shy. They like to avoid boats and aren't very surface active. So we're going to be using our survey vessels to go out and tow some underwater microphones or hydrophones and we're hoping that that way we can listen out for them as well as look out for them. Song of the Well is a 21 metre research vessel. It's, it's steel. We've got a steel hull which means we can go up into the higher latitudes, the polar waters. However, this survey is going to be much closer to home. We're going to be working uh, towards the River Thames. And the great thing about Song of the Well is it's a liveaboard vessel, so we're going to have a team of approximately 10 of us and we're all going to be staying on board, sleeping on board, working on board for about a week. We've put in lots of features that ensure the boat's very quiet. The effects of this are twofold. It means we minimise the disturbance to the animals we're studying because many of them are acoustically sensitive. But it also means we reduce the amount of noise we're propagating into the marine environment, which makes our acoustic recordings cleaner and quieter. This is our hydrophone array or our underwater microphone system and this is one of the main tools of our trade so we're going to be going out looking for harbour porpoises but we may struggle to see them but we, we're almost guaranteed to hear them so we're going to be listening out for their vocalisations, their ultrasonic clips. Once we're on the river we're going to deploy our array so we have 30 metres of tow cable here. So we've put, put the whole of the array in the water, towed along behind us and we can run this system 24 hours a day. Humans can hear up to about 20 kilohertz porpoises typically vocalise in at 130, 140 kilohertz and this means as the boat passes a group of porpoises we can essentially work out exactly where they are in the water column and therefore count them and that's one of the key parameters we're looking for in the survey is how many porpoises are using the Thames estuary. 